located arrest 273-5-166, primarily methamphetamine, and the victim states he is very violent. Police departments all over Northern California were working on the gang problem and uncovering links to the Nuestra Familia. Hit lists with hundreds of names on them were intercepted. Something had to be done. Law enforcement made the decision to go after the NF leadership using the RICO prosecutions that had brought down the Mafia. In the late 1990s, they turned to the feds for help. We brought in the, the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and they were able to bring resources that we did not have. What we tried to do was to mirror the web of, of the gang with our own web of law enforcement officers. George Collard was part of a police and FBI task force that began a long-term investigation codenamed Black Widow, secret even within the police. And as investigators in Operation Black Widow, we not only went after the guy who pulled the trigger, but who ordered that person to pull the trigger. You've got an organization here that is killing people, and they're doing it by ordering people to be killed from inside prison and out on the streets. It was a real eye-opener for a lot of people. The strategy of the Black Widow investigation was to attack the leadership of the Nuestra Familia at Pelican Bay, men like these who run the NF from behind bars. But how do you punish men who are already serving life in prison? Colord says the plan was to remove these men from Pelican Bay and scatter them throughout the federal prison system. To succeed, investigators chose to recruit high-level informants to get inside the gang. 